This was the Eternal Damage upper bracket final between Elysium and Naughty. For Elysium, we had Gizmo, Yera, Insane, Outlaw, Sebhes, and Silent. And for Naughty, we had Cherry, Heia, H2O, Coop, Ross, and Woot. Map choices for this one were Naughty selecting Radar and Elysium picking Bremen. Enjoy the game. Things are going to start hit on Radar, which is Naughty's map choice. This is the upper bracket final. The winner goes on to the grand final. The loser will drop down into the lower bracket final. The winner will be top two guaranteed. Early Sten frag comes out from Insane, pushing towards that side area. But the airstrikes are in position. They should get frags. They are going to be able to pick up one. Insane's not going to be able to get his hands on that suit. But four or five players for the in for the uh, Elysium team are going to stream over those dead bodies of the Axis. And it does look like Silent's going to be able to get this plant down at side. Coop is in position though, and he is good at defending this side area. So is so is Flop. So is Yera. These are very very high level rifles in terms of defending these side areas it can be very difficult it can be very difficult the flag has already been captured by the elysium team so that's easy early pressure from from elysium they have got their hands on a suit as well as coop's gonna push forward gonna be able to take down one he does manage to spot the suit and insane is gonna try and push up ross needs to back off yeah he realizes he needs to get out of there he is actually gonna get taken down really really poor and I, he isn't gibbed ross didn't tap brilliant from ross i don't know if he did that on purpose they need to give him Gib him now and, and you can open the door. I'm pretty sure you can get from the other side. That was really nice from Ross. I think you can get it through the door. You should be able to get it through the door. No? I'm pretty sure you can get it through the door. But really nice from Ross. <laughs> I don't think he did that on purpose. He got killed in the door but decided not to tap. I think if he tapped, his body wouldn't have got pushed out. The plant is going to blow. The CB has been destroyed but it has been tapped by the Axis team. Jay is the filled up here in position. And he's going to have some pressure. Rifle's going to take him down quite low. He's only on like 25 HP. Does manage to get in a lot of damage. Nice double grenade comes out from Coop after Wood and Jay both pick up a frag apiece. And the health will come in. Nice, nice response from the naughty guys. It did look a little bit edgy. It looked like it could have fallen apart. But that was a nice start from both teams. We're seeing some good stuff. Rifle's going to come out from Coop early. And we are going to see the Panzer come out. It does manage to connect. And it is going to be two, three frags in this side area. And maybe cleared it out a little bit. What is going to get taken down as well by Yera. And it is going to be the Yera show as he picks up three frags. Make that four. And they are going to be able to build that CP up as well. Forward spawn on lockdown for Elysium. And they are after a flying start here on radar. As you are going to see Outlaw start push towards that boost. And maybe going to just boost up one of his teammates. Maybe request one instead it does look like it's going to be the request as silent makes his way towards fake just going to put some pressure on towards these west parts and i'm going to stick with some of these allied players just see how much pressure they can put on here comes the push i think Alor's going to be home and dry but we'll see what are the defense going to be able to do here quite good good aggression from them as a group trying to clear it out a little bit Nice spot from Ross. Really nice work. He is going to be able to take down one. And that's just going to slow it down a little bit. That's a good job. What the engineer at main. Does get off a grenade. Does manage to pick up a frag. But I think that was the grenade before. Push coming out through main. And that might be the objective dropped. It is. No it isn't. That's a rock. <laughs> that is a rock Merlin. What are you talking about? Where is the objective? Here it comes. Outlaw is going to be able to get that, get that home. I thought it uh, worked miracles here at main. But it is going to happen. Yeah, I managed to delay them a little bit. About nine minutes on the clock. Nice work from H2O. Just slowing them down a little bit, I mean. He's going to get dropped. Axis need to just steady themselves. They don't look too shaky, to be honest. They, they are getting rolled over a little bit, but it doesn't look like they're looking too nervous. They look fine. Nice work from Coop. Picks up quite a bit of damage. Gets the frag in there as well. Playing that supportive medic on West. Let's see how the allies are doing. They have taken over that back spawn and now they're waiting for support. I like what I see here. I really like this setup from the allies. Need to stick together a little bit. Insane. If he gets taken down, needs to get that revive in. Nice work from Yera. Supportive medic doing his job to perfection. And there's a lot of players here. A lot of allied players. Four. Back of West push. Here comes Outlaw as well. Very close. And he's going to get the angle to Ross. He is going to start pushing up. No mines in position. Where are the mines? Normally you see mines all over the place here. Nice grenade comes up. Just trying to get a bit of damage off. He actually gets the frag in. And artillery at the back of West might be a bit too late. There's no mines on the parts either. What's going on? As Outlaw actually gets dropped down. Nice work from the Axis. Their crossfire did the job in the end. And they have held them off for quite a long time. So you will see a couple of the uh, 
the naughty guys spawn back here. They need to get these revives in. Very, very key. They have managed to get the revives in. Really nice work from the allies. And this could be full spawns for the Axis if they're not careful. Really nice work from Naughty, though. How many kills have they just got? I'll bring down the console in just a second. But they are going to drop. They're out for 15 seconds. Outlaw pushes through from the same position. He is going to be able to make it up back of West. And he is going to make his way towards the parts. It's all on H2O. He is going to get a lot of damage off. But he is getting pushed towards side as, uh, from Fake as well. And they are going to get their hands on the West parts. Outlaw is going to make it away down the road. He is going to get dropped. Two more players on the road. It is going to be Sebhes and Gizmo. They need to get that revive train ready. Sebhes is ready with his needle out. Really nice work, but they're going to get flanked from behind. Cherry's going to pick up the easy frags, and they are going to be able to secure this objective. No, Insane's pushing along the road. They haven't gone for that objective secure, and he isn't managing to pick it up, but he has got Outlaw for backup as well. Objective Objective's going to get picked up again, and I'm going to watch Coop as it does look like the objective's going to get away. Lots of frags coming in, and they haven't managed to secure it. Ross got taken down on that run. H2O trying to make it towards the objective, which is just sitting on the road. Where are the Allied players spawning at CP? Coop again does manage to get that rifle off. Sebhes making it away, dodging and weaving, health packing his way away, but he's not going to be able to make it all the way up the hill. Objective gets picked up one more time. Silent manages to make his way towards CP, and now Naughty have to set up at the truck. Frantic run by the Elysium team, but they do manage to get that objective away. Crazy stuff. I thought all those frags in that back area, I thought that was all that was it, tied up, but Outlaw managed to push down the main roads, get his hands on the objective, and the pass the parcel attack just all the way to all the way to CP. Now they're holding them off at main big rifle exchange. Coop's gonna come out on top though with double rifle towards the uh, the corridor. He gets picked up as well, so the revival will come in, and it does look like Naughty have quite a lot of players in position. The RT is gonna get a frag in as well. Outlaw doing a really good job. Three frags from behind. He's still there. A lot of pressure going to come from his position. He has actually been dropped down by, by Cherry. Push coming out from Yara. He isn't going to be able to connect with his rifle grenades. They still have four players in position here. Truck. Aggressive push coming out. Insane's going to be able to pick up two. Revive still coming in. Nice revive work again. Silent doing a good job. But the push coming in through the flag. They need to be careful here. Objective Seb has, has it in hand. Do see a bit of a flank going on. Pressure coming in from H2O. He's going to try and secure it. The parts have been dropped by, by Coop. And I think that was Sebes just, just panicking and running away. And they have lost it. That was a perfect opportunity to just hold it. And just maybe even just go a bit more defensive. That was all down to H2O just putting on a little bit of pressure. Just that little, just his, just his presence scared Sebes into pushing with the objective. And that was an easy secure from, from Coop. Now they have to set up again. And they only have five minutes. They need to settle themselves. And get a bit annoyed after that. Hextro picks up two frags at main. He throws a, a nade towards side. I think he knew that there was someone there. So you see Cherry trying to battle with someone. That's Seves. Lots of damage. Mine's going to do the work in the trenches. There are three or four players pushing here. As H2O has been dropped, five players for the Allied team in trenches. They're taking their time, though. They are taking their time. Cherry's in position. Nice nice jump by Sebes. He's going to take Cherry by surprise. And I think Cherry walked over the mine, maybe. No, he put down an artillery, but it's a bit too late. Sebes is just bouncing towards me. Respawn's going to come in. Is he going to make it across? He isn't. And the objective's going to be picked up by Outlaw. He's going to be able to make it away with the packs out. And he gets it in the back of the truck. I thought they'd thrown it away. I thought Sebes had thrown it away. He makes up for his, uh, his mistake on the first run. Picks up that objective. Brilliant run towards main. Outlaw again picks it up. And the objective is going to be in the back of the truck. So quick. So quick here on Reader. Jeez. Too quick. Let's look at the frags. 59 to 81. 14 and a half K. Just, uh, just under 15 K to just under 10 K. Man. And that's only the first half of the first map. <laughs> 7 minutes 56 is a really good time though. Anything, I think 8 minutes and under is pretty solid. As a defense, you kind of want to be in the 10 minute range. Just in case you have a slow push towards those first stages. You don't want them to be too effective on slowing you down. So the second half of Radar will kick off, and it does look like we have got Elysium uh, Insane here as the early, early air striker. So it's actually going to be Outlaw and Insane. So one will be short, one will be long. 
And it does look like the nutty guys are going to try and push over it. Decide to go towards main. Another strike from main, from uh, Silent. It's going to get shut down. I don't think any frags have come in. Actually, team frags have come in with these. As you see, Ross and Wirt start pushing back towards side. I don't think they've got an engineer unless that's the footsteps of one behind them. Here's Coop. Just a little bit behind Naughty. I'm starting to pick up some frags, though. Cherry kills out, so maybe they're going to turn their attention towards his side area. They've got it almost for free. And Yero's going to take a lot of damage there. He's going to have to back off. He can't afford to open that door. Coop's going to get that plant on the side for free almost. And he does actually get taken down. Nice work from, from Yero. What on a pistol. He's actually going to get in the frag and push inside. He's only a, a medic, though. But he's just going to be a, an annoyance. They don't know he's there. Not a big deal. But, oh, oh, he damn fast. This boy is damn fast. So we'll see what they can do at sides. Flag has been picked up. Need to put some pressure on that side area. Side has indeed blown. So realistically, Yera should know he's through. Because he's not here and the door closed. They, they Well, now they know. Now they know. And what's just going to push towards main? He should have maybe picked up west. Did it? He picked up east. And he's going to be able to get into the back of the truck. Too easy. He made that look easy. It's just over six minutes. They don't even know what's happened. At least you were just like, what? How? How has this happened? If only he picked up west. If only he picked up west, that would have been magical. But I don't think the spawn time was uh, favorable. Amazing stuff from Naughty. But at least they make east not even objective now. I did say about, like, if you get slowed down at an objective, they bypassed one, basically. They need to have a good side defense here. Has to be good. Rifle of Yero is not going to be able to connect. Grenade does, though. Here comes Coop. Does manage to take down Yero. Gibbs going to come in as well. The Kobe's going to be able to get the Destroyer and the CP. And they have managed to clear it out. Naughty getting all the frags. Cherry with 3k on that push. And he builds up the CP. And the Allies are just going to push over it. They're just going to push straight out. There's no East parts to pick up though. So they have to go quite far to get to the ne next objective. So we'll see Elysium be able to set themselves up. At the parts. Coop's still on that rifle. He'll probably drop that soon enough. Just while the pressure's still on. He's going to keep with it. Bit of a push coming towards the back of the back spawn right now. You're going to see Outlaw get the frags, or at least the damage. He has got support from another player behind him. Nice work here. Outlaw double frag. They need to steady themselves. Now, I did say when um, when Naughty were getting rolled over, they didn't look nervous. It just looked like they were getting hit hard. At least they may be looking a little nervous in their, in their play. I don't know why, just I can I can tell. They need to just steady themselves because they as soon as they get some frags in, though, these are the sort of players that just like gain confidence with shoot with shooting well. Big push coming around the back of the uh, the back spawn though, and they are going to be able to shut it down. Really nice work from these ally players. Both the Axis players shut down, and they're going to risk the fall, the spawn in here. Silent is going to spawn in with his uh, his teammate Outlaw. Does manage to get flanked from behind. Outlaw needs to get these frags in. It's all, all almost all on him. He is going to get a lot of damage. Nice uh, nice support. He hasn't managed to get that Gibbon. And he's, uh, they are struggling a little bit on this back area. Just over four minutes remaining. It is advantage Elysium regardless of what happens here. They spawn back in. Not a lot of time. If they force them to spawn back, they haven't. So they have to deal with these guys for ten seconds. Which is not what they want. Silent's been kind of caught out like multiple times here. He needs to be aware of, like, he needs to know where to go. He doesn't seem to know where to go if they're all over it. That's Outlaw and Silent in the back. The back guys have been taken down. And now it's going to be fish in a barrel for Woods. He's just getting a lot of damage onto these players. He needs the support of his teammates. And there's Cherry getting two, I believe. He must be getting from main or fake. Where is he? I've got no idea. Ross is going to get find the mine. He hasn't found the, the, the fish brain mine, but he's found another one. H2 fails the jump. He is still on the main road, though. And the rat axes have respawned back in. Gizmo in position here, just holding the back of West. He has got two players to deal with. He will be shot from the upper area. That's where uh, Cherry was hiding. They know he's there. They need to be aware of that. They know he's in the upper area. He's going to be getting off three shots. Nice, nice work from the Elysium guys. Picking up four frags. And there is an RT on the back of the pot, so he just needs to be aware of that. <laughs> Silent taken down. I think he's going to respawn back in. Let's check the allied teams on their push. Four or five players spawning in at CP. And they're just going to just run straight down main roads. They think there's an opening. It does look like there is. Yera taken out. 
Silent taking a lot of damage. Needs to back off. Gets a lot of damage off. Nice work from Silent. Does manage to take down that kill. Revive Train's going to come in from the Ally team. Double threat comes out from Silent, but they're just running into the brick wall that is the defense of Elysium now as Cherry actually picks up two big frags. I think that's pretty much the West defense. We're going to respawn back in. Not too much of a big deal. They should maybe overload this back spawn every now and again. As I think that's one out for full. It is indeed outlaw out for full. Hextro is going to respawn back in as well, so... They've only got a one-player defense on that backspawn for maybe 10, 15 seconds. Time is running low for the Naughty side. So we're going to see Ross. He's going to have no one to run into as we did see Silent on the main roads. He will wait for the respawn here. There's Silent. He's going to spawn back in. Did he see Ross? Ross might be able to take these guys from su by surprise. I don't know if they spawned in here or not. I think they wouldn't have risked it. Doesn't look like they have... A lot of players spawned in here at West. Five, six players. They need the airstrikes. They need the artilleries on these West parts. The Allied team to just clear it out. To force the defense to move. As a lot of kills are coming in. The revives need to come in as a reply. Two players at the back of West still. And the objective has actually been picked up. Wood does manage to pick up the objective. They have been instantly secured. But the mine is gone. As Cherry has actually also been taken down in that upper area. Which has been very effective so far. Nearly a nade on a respawn from Ross. He has only got a pistol, that's why he had that nade out. Nice work from Coop, he has managed to take down one. That's that one down for 25 seconds as well, really nice work. Here comes the big push from the back. Nice double frag from Coop. He's just piling on the, on the damage. But just over a minute remaining and Outlaw's going to come in with the big flank. He has to get in these revives, H2O. Really nice work from, H2, uh, from Outlaw. Gets in that gib as well and the killouts are going to come in. I think Elysium have done enough. They've got a minute less. They don't have to hold off for the whole minute. We are going to see a big fake push coming in. And this is something that we haven't seen Elysium have to deal with in the past. Lots of shooting come, here, come in here. Lots of Axis players dropping. And the objective is going to get picked up here by Ross. He is going to be able to get his hands on it. No, no mine is in position. But he's all alone, I think. I don't think he's going to be able to run this home. As there's four Elysium players in the way. He isn't going to be able to make it home. And it is going to be Jay to... No. 37 seconds. H2O, this is his time. This is his moment. This is the this is the one chance that Naughty have left. He isn't going to be able to get his hands on it in time. He does. He's going to get pushed away. He is going to get taken down. And I think that is going to be the first map going Elysium's way. What, what, an in, what an intense game. What an intense attack and, and defense. 20 seconds remain. I don't think they've got enough time. It has to be the pickup like now. He has to be here and just running. It's what? He is fast. Is he fast enough? Outlaws are already on the objective. They're not going to allow him to even have a sniff at it. Not even a sniff. Nice work from Seves. Luger out. Takes down one. Just wards them off a little bit. And that is going to be the first map. You guys can check out the scores. As it does look actually pretty one-sided towards Naughty. So I guess on their own defense they were much more solid. But it's going to be a 2-0 lead right now. For Elysium. As I will update the scores on the screen. And uh, we will, I will guide you through the scores. As it is 29 frags coming out for Outlaw. Just one off of the 30 bomb. 5k damage for him though. Across to the other team. Cherry does hit that 30 bomb. 27 for H2O as well. 26 for Jay. Some big hitters for the Naughty guys. And we are going to see Bremen. I did say this. I said that that's, that that's sort of like. I don't know what you want to call it. That's their like back pocket pick. Where not a lot of teams pick this map. And they have picked it. At least him very strong on on here on Bremen. But really nice first map. Let's see how it continues into the second. Which is going to kick off right now. Elysium on the defense of their own map. We'll stick with uh, Cherry on the start because he is the field up. Might get off an early airstrike. I mean to click. We'll see what Cherry does. He's not getting that airstrike off, but a big push from the Naughty guys on the left hand side, which is kind of unheard of. You know, most of the time you see people go on the right hand side for the Ally team, but they're going to get completely annihilated. Cherry does get that strike off in the end. Two frags coming in. Respawning allies are going to come in just a bit too late. They could have maybe got their hands on the flag for a respawn, but Axis actually are going to spawn in at the flag. And now they're going to turn their attention to that right hand side as Ross makes the push. He is going to be able to take down one. A bit of damage onto a second player. As we did see, I think h trying to just uh, dodge and weave his way towards the flag. Isn't going to come in for him. Would have been on the spawn time as well. Would have been nice. 
Nice grenade from Gizmo. It isn't going to fully connect. Jay is very low HP though. Insane gets a couple of Luger shots off just to finish him off for his teammate. So no death for uh, Gizmo. We'll, we'll stick with. Pre-shooting the angle. No one was there, but then someone was there. Which he didn't hit. Another strike comes out from Cherry. So just pop a grenade down that hole. Nice work from Cherry. Makes it look easy. Pushing towards the flag. Now he gets a lot of damage towards Insane. He might be able to get his hands on it. He gets taken down. Really nice communication by the Elysium team. That would have been like instant just... Insert Dutch. Good for dumb. Flag. Or something like that. As the push does get shut down. More pushes from Nottie are going to come in. Only a minute and a half off the clock. Lots of time left for the Nottie guys to get the flag. Maybe you're gonna start putting some, putting some pressure on towards the, uh, towards the, the plant. It does look like they're just happy to just have their packs out bouncing towards the flag. Enough. I'm not sure about that strat. As the axes are all gonna spawn in, there is one player lurking. It is H2O. He isn't gonna be able to get. Double frag comes out from Gizmo though. Maybe need to change up their strat. Maybe go for that main plant. Although Elysium do seem to be all over it. That is the biggest problem. Nice Rifle comes out from Coop, takes down Nero, but the revive can come in still. Lots of damage from Insane. Doesn't take too much in response. H2O missing quite a lot of shots there. Has to kill out. I think this is going to be maybe Jay out for full spawn. Not worth. He can get revived. He is behind the wall. I don't think anyone's pushing that side as it does look like two or three players pushing this right hand side. Ross is not an engineer. Nice shooting though. Puts on a lot of damage towards Sebhes who has to run away. He doesn't know where to go. And it's going to be Yera to pick up two frags. Make that three. Lugo whipped out. What is actually decided to go engineer? This is what I like to see. And the strike is actually very long. This could be nice. They are going to run over it. What's going to make it through? Doesn't know that Yera's there. Yera gets that nade off but what is extremely low. And they have managed to actually pick up the flag at the same time as planting that main door. So they didn't need it. They didn't need it. Mega push. Three minutes. That was a long three minutes. That felt like five. Good job for Naughty. Constant pressure. It's all about the constant pressure. Makes it seem like you've defended for a lot longer than you actually have. And you really haven't defended that for that long yet. This is the key stage. Gizmo's the key player, I think. His position. He's got to give the calls. He's got to shoot every angle. If the rifle finds him, he's, his team are in trouble. Let's see Cherry. Ooh. I find the heads of the uh, Sten. They are making their way towards that CP. Nice work from Coop. Does manage to take down one on the corner. And a second. Pistol shots coming on towards Yera, who I think nearly rifled himself. That angle didn't work very well for him. They still have got a player in position at CP. They are making it quite far forward on that corner, but the revive train finally gets shut down. Ross and Wirt trying to make it all the way. Maybe just a bit of a distraction. I think they've got Insane at CP. They have indeed. He plays that low low stairs. I do remember. Oh, he didn't realise there was someone in position. h is already there. So that is kind of nice for the Naughty guys. They have to get people in position across. Crossfire needs to be good. And they are starting to get players across. Where's the Engineers? Where's the Covey? Here comes the clear out. The yeah, Axis will start pushing in to, to clear the CP out maybe. Maybe they're going to give it up instead. Nice artillery comes down. As the push coming across is going to get kind of shut down. Nice rifle, but Cherry gets instantly revived. Really nice work from Ross. As Cherry's going to make it in towards CP. As the Kovi does seem like he's lagging. Quite a bit. He is indeed lagging quite a bit. CP's going to get destroyed. Is there an engineering position? It doesn't look like it. At least we're going to put a lot of pressure on towards the CP. And Cherry hasn't been spotted. I can't see an engineer anywhere. Objective, Objective actually uh, has been picked up. Nice Objective work from Ross. Nice timing. It isn't going to work. He is going to get dropped. Gizmo in position to shut that down. But the CP is open for the allies to just build it up and get that forward spawn. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Secure of the objective is going to come in, but I think that's two players out for 15 seconds. Jay's going to get his hands on the objective once more. Objective Did see the dead Axis players spot that again, and I think Gizmo knows. He does. He's going to get the nade in, and they have retaken CP. CP is... CP is Axis. What is going on? had control it had four or five players at cp the, the, the naughty guys and they've lost it nice work from yara it was obviously him who built up cp does get that rifle off as well yet jay taken down quite low they have got three four players at cp again 
And Coop is the engineer, but he is going to get taken down. Outlaw with a double frag, pushing towards that CP area. H2O and J, last two players, are going to get completely overwhelmed by four players of the uh, Elysium squads. They're just on the constant retake of that CP. I don't think they've managed to set up properly there yet. Is that two more frags somehow coming out from Sepes? Was he at CP? I've got no idea. Yeah, he was. So they've still got control at CP here. Very, very heavy defense here now. Three players. Probably not normally their standard defense. As you do see them backing off to slightly different positions, indeed. I like this office defense a lot more. Got more, a lot more scope. You can defend both sides of the map, i.e. the objective and um, CP. And Elysium giving a chance. Just a, just a, a little bit of a rest. Looks like they're going to turn their attention towards the... Uh, the key cards, lots of players pushing across. Insane's getting the free shots. And if there's anyone you don't want to get free shots, it's someone like Insane. Gets in a lot of damage. What here? Very fast player. He can push in, get that objective, and get away quick enough. Doesn't look like he wants to go. He knows the office defense is still set up. Still holding positions. Trying to time it as a team, which is good. Sepes is going to get an artillery frag in. Cherry's starting to get some frags in reply. Rifle's going to come out from Coop on the corner. Doesn't manage to clear it out. He does start to push into this lower area. He has got one to do with. He decides to kill out. Probably a probably a wise de decision there. Let's stick with one of the Axis players here at office. This is where you see it all. You do take shots from everywhere as well. It does look like Sepes is going to push across to give ammo. I, I, I like this. Kind of risky, risky on the timing, maybe. Needs to be careful on making it his way back. He is going to have a couple of players to do with. Nice work from Sebes, doing quite a bit of damage. He's going to rely on his teammates to get the crossfire in. Nice Gib. He does actually get taken down by Coop, who picks up two frags. Nearly three. It's going to be two separate rifles. Cherry has made it into that lower CP area. Slowly walking in. Oh, he would have given his, way, his position away with that with that pack. He's still alive somehow. He's going to get the support of, of, uh, of Jay and nearly Coop. This is a lot of time getting drained off the clock here at CP. This is the key stage of the map. And again, Notty seemed to have control, but this time it looks a bit better. Doesn't look like the Elysium guys are going to push for this. They're holding off this position, so I say that. They're going to go very aggressive. Double frag comes out from Outlaw. Double frag from Yera. As Cherry is still in this lower area. They don't know he's here. This is going to be a brilliant nade. Oh, just slightly mistimed. Just slightly Insane's going to pick up two big frags. He shouldn't have been alive in that situation. And that's the entire push of Notty shut down. If that nade would have connected, it would have been an insta-gib. I think he thought it was going to be quite aggressive on the corner. So unfortunate from Cherry. He's been having a brilliant game so far. Methodical push through the, the, the uh, manor house. They don't want to get snagged from behind. Very slow from Notty. It seems to be working. They've taken over CP like two or three times, but they just haven't managed to get the right classes in position to get the builds and so on. They have managed to take down Insane, who had to get picked up, making his way towards CP. The RTs, the spam, Outlaw with the double frag as well. Oh my god. Let's pick up Outlaw, he's been wrecking. He was just on a potential revive duty there. Does manage to take down one. Bit of damage on towards the seconds. See, everyone that you see someone shooting it for Elysium, you see them taking shots from elsewhere, which is always nice. So they don't... It's not an easy one-on-one. -on -one. It's nice crossfires. I like it. Push from Naughty will be a bit faster this time because the respawn coming in of Elysium is going to give them a bit of freedom to push across. Ross is still in this upper area. He's moving. He loves this push up top, but he needed someone to support him. The revive train is pretty strong there. They have managed to get into CP and nearly take it over again. No revive from H2O. He was hoping for the peak from Sepes, but Sepes is going to rip his face off. His CP defense has been so, so strong. Yeah, right. Error on the on the respawn push. There could be a revive in there from from Cherry. I don't think they're going to go for it though. Nice attempt by Coop. He did, tried to get that rifle across, and they're just going to push out and they're just running into the, the crossfire. Brutal crossfire. That's Sepes from CP. Lots of damage coming from Office as well. 
this stage. And I think a full hold here is enough. I, don't, I actually forgot. This is this is Elysium full holding for the win. They don't even have to get the map win. Whether they play it out or not, I do not know. If they get a full hold here, they have they're already victorious. They cannot lose. It'll be three one or four to zero. And at the moment, it's looking really, really good for them. Here comes the push towards the objective. But there are still two players in position. Somehow, Ross is still alive, but he is going to get whipped down. Outlaw's going to be able to get that Luger frag in at the end. I thought he had a bit of support there. I thought it was just more than more than just Cherry. But it was actually just Cherry, unfortunately. And it was against four, so it was always going to be out a kind of numbers game there. Had to hit some brilliant shots. And they did manage to take down two, to be fair, but just under three and a half minutes remaining. Very, very short amount of time. They have to turn their attention towards that key card more than the CP very soon. Nice work from work. Does manage to take down one of the, the medics, the danger man in Outlaw, that, that spawn site. And what's going to turn his attention towards the objective? He is going to get his legs broken on the drop, and he couldn't move. Gizmo is going to be able to pick up an easy two, two frags. H2 has made his way towards office and he's just going to slow them down, getting in position here. Nice work with that grenade. And he's going to scope out some people mo mo moving in towards that office. He doesn't manage to take him down and somehow Outlaw's just somewhere else on the map picking up three frags. Seems to do this a lot, Outlaw. Just somewhere on the map, three frags. Somewhere on the map, three frags. I'll spec him again. What, what does he do? Just waits for him to move into his crosshair. <laughs> Makes it look easy. It's this easy, guys. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage. He does get dropped. Yeah, at CP as the rifle. Very strange. Rarely see the rifle hold CP. Rarely see a rifle, if I'm honest. He might push forward for the next spawn. Oh, he's building CP. That kind of makes sense. I completely missed the fact that they destroyed CP allied team. Two minutes. Time wasn't on their side three minutes ago. Now it's now it's very much do or die. They're pushing in ones. They're not reviving each other. I don't think they think it's going to be easy to do. It's, it's harder if you don't. <laughs> yeah, it nearly gets lucky with that rifle shot. Okay, here comes H2O. He's just going to run out, take some damage towards the office. Doesn't manage to take the player down. Decides to stop shooting him after getting some headshots to him. Is that what? I don't know what Wood's doing. Here comes what? He's going to make it towards CP. I don't think he's got anyone else to deal with. It is completely clear. Just over a minute remains though. They are going to get their hands on the objective potentially. And they're moving in towards the truck area. So everything's gone well for them. But it's just been a bit too late. Just a bit too late. Cherry. What picks up three frags? Objective, objective is going to get picked up. And Cherry's going to get taken down. Does look like the secure's going to come in. He's going to be indeed silent with the secure. That is it. That is indeed it. It will be a win for Elysium. Whether they play this out or not, I have no idea. The crossfire on this stage was too strong. I think the uh, Naughty guy's pushes were a, bit, a little bit fragmented. Although they got to the CP a lot. And that was just, I think that was mainly just good revive work. They have got good team players, of course. But I don't think I saw the Kovi and an, uh, an NG at CP together, which is vital. I think Elysium got kind of fortunate by you know, either taking the engineer down multiple times, you know, with a bit of spam or, or whatever. Just the way it goes sometimes. Very one sided on the frags. So we look at it, it's going to be 39 frags for Outlaw, 30 frags for Gizmo, 30 for Yera. Across the other team, we have 18 for H2O, but not much else. 18 for Cherry as well. But nearly double fragged, and nearly 10k more damage. But that is it. They have disconnected. They do not want to play it out. And it is going to be a 4-0 to zero victory, effectively, for Elysium. And they're going to move on to the grand final. And we'll have Naughty drop down to the upper bracket final. 
They've already guaranteed, both teams have guaranteed themselves a top three, although Elysium now top two. But that was a very, very solid performance from Elysium. I think, obviously, that, that uh, Bremen courtyard stage was was pretty nasty. 